All right, we're here with Razor Rob McCullough. And uh, Rob, you are uh, not only a fighter, but now you're an assistant coach for your good friend Tito Ortiz on The Ultimate Fighter. Yes. Um, give me your thoughts on that first show. What, what did you uh, think? There was a lot of crazy knockouts, it looked like. A lot of crazy knockouts. Season 11 of The Ultimate Fighter will probably by far be the one season that everyone will remember, for sure. Like, yeah, I think everybody tries to hype their season, but you won't forget this one. I mean, there's high caliber fighters, you know, in the house. There's a, uh, and they're all in great shape to top it off. And then the fact that the underlying drama between everything that's totally apparent, like you'll see, it's great fights and just a lot of drama. So it'll make you stay tuned to every episode. You're gonna be like, oh, I gotta see what happens next. Everyone keeps asking me. I'm like, ah, I can't, I can't tell you, but it's crazy. Well, earlier this week there was a conference call with Chuck Liddell, and uh, Chuck was talking some mad, you know, stuff about Tito, uh, calling him a scumbag, uh, saying he's a, a liar. I mean, just basically going off on him. Um, what, just give me your thoughts on what they were like to be around during the show, the times that they were in the same room. Um, see, I'm friends with Chuck too. Tito's my boy. I've known Tito since high school. So, you know, I, I got I got my dogs. But, yeah, when they were in the same room, it was a lot of underlying, like, you know, smack talking to each other. A few times it popped off where it was just like, oh, really? It's going to go down like that right now? Okay. So, you guys are going to have to watch the show to, to really see it because we got a lot of it on film. So, it's going to be pretty crazy. So, a lot of this, uh, it's going to be apparent that they don't like each other. <laughs> it's going to be totally obvious that they don't like each other. And it's not, people, oh, is it, is it fake? This is not the WWF. This is real. This is a, these guys are really, really don't like each other. They really don't like each other. You can really tell they don't like each other. And I think, you know, the, the smack talking, it's 100%, you know what I mean? So. Uh, you were talking about uh, being up there for, what was it, six weeks? Six weeks. And it's seven days a week. Seven, day, seven days a week, twice a day. And give me your, your schedule. It was twice a day training, and then tell me what happened afterwards. Oh, man. <laughs> well, my wife was pregnant and ready to deliver any day. So I was watching my phone. And between watching my phone and then trying to like get my mind off the train and get out of the gym, you know, I started playing little cards here and there. And next thing you know, I was like gambling and then trying to get food in to get back to the gym. It was it was a mess. It was it was it was really fun though. It was a great experience. I met a lot of really good guys. You know, I enjoyed myself. Once in a lifetime experience. I don't know if I do it again, but it was uh, it was cool. Interesting though. It's gonna be great TV. Great TV. And. Uh you, you were talking about staying up all night. I mean, you guys you guys were in the card room as much as you were on the on the training mat. Oh man, I was yeah. At one point, I was you know just trying to win back my money, and then you know I win back my money. Then I was trying to, you know, then I was trying to make some money, and I'm like, I shouldn't be gambling. I got a kid coming, so it was it was it was fun though. It was it was interesting. And then everything uh, went well. Your your wife uh, gave birth to Cruz. I, uh, I made I made it home in time, and my wife uh, had my son the next day. I made it home. Yeah, so I have Cruz Cruz Alexander McCullough my newborn son so it, you know everything worked out and only a, a month a month old yeah he's exactly yeah a month exactly old. a month yeah. yeah how's that man it just Craziness. happened perfectly right yeah yeah it was heaven sent yeah. it was heaven sent so now you haven't been on tv yet uh um, they showed a little bit here they'll be walking out but yeah but they haven't picked teams yet yeah so uh yeah this next episode i believe they're going to start picking teams so they'll introduce the assistant coaches and we'll be able to pick the teams so uh, uh we got to see uh uh I think it was Jamie Yeager had one of the better knockouts. And uh, talk about him, what, what he's uh, going through right now. You, you were just talking about that. Uh, just got off the phone with him, actually. Good good kid. He, you know, he's asking me you know, how to self-promote for, for the show and stuff. And he was, you know, my record, you know, is not that high. And I go, that has nothing to do with the record, bro. I go, it's about, you know, you self-promoting yourself. And so I was telling him, you know, giving him the tips. You know, hey, get, you know, get your online stuff going. You know, get your Facebook, MySpace stuff, so people you know want to see you fight. Either they want to watch you win, or they want to watch you get beat up, or they want to watch you. So I was just you know giving them helpful hints, stuff, stuff that you know people told me along the way. I learned. So just make it where they want to watch you no matter what. Make yeah, exactly. <laughs> and and he's a character you're definitely gonna remember him. He's the one with the gigantic afro. He's the one with the big hairdo. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And uh, so uh, you were saying what people can expect. We can't, you know, obviously we can't reveal anything about the Tito situation, but Chuck said. He's assuming the fight's still gonna happen, even though there's rumors all around about you know Chuck fighting Rich Franklin now. Yeah, the, um, the drama, drama. <laughs> the, the fight's still on though, so. Just drama. That's yeah, like, drama. Well, right on, uh, Rob. Thanks a lot for taking the time, man. For sure, brother.